Florida Governor Rick Scott was in South Florida today. The governor stopped in Miramar to single out a company that's growing while promoting his agenda for the legislative session that's now underway. CBS 4's Joe Murray has more on the governor's visit. This particular speaker has over seven patents. Governor Rick Scott's Jobs Roadshow stopped in Miramar Monday, touring JL Audio's vast manufacturing plant. JL is a South Florida success story, growing from one employee to over 300 workers in the past 40 years. The company makes speakers for mobile products, homes, and boats. We have a boat. My grandsons love to have it as loud as they can have it. By the governor's count, Florida has created over a million jobs since he was elected in 2010. Some argue Scott hasn't done enough to save jobs or prevent companies from leaving. But he was on hand to help JL celebrate the addition of 30 jobs here in the last year. We are building products here that really I don't think are built anywhere else in the United States, and we're doing it very successfully. Adam Atkins is a mechanical engineer who designs parts for speeding production. He was hired seven months ago and traded the cold of New Hampshire for Florida sunshine, and admits he didn't expect the manufacturing opportunities would be available in South Florida. I was surprised South Florida had manufacturing because I always pictured it more as like a vacation destination. Um, you know, maybe Central Florida had more manufacturing, but yeah, I was surprised. Little surprise, Scott used his appearance to promote his goals for the current legislative session, which includes a billion dollar tax cut package that would extend tax breaks for businesses like JL Audio. I've never met a business person that said, oh gosh, I want to grow a smaller business. What happens next here hinges on a lot of factors. The minimum wage, what the governor wants to do in the legislature, and the economy in general. But the goal here is to keep turning the volume up on job growth. In Miramar, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.